Set five has dropped and I've pretty much opened everything from the cases. So I have a pretty good idea of what's in there now. I've done a bunch of live streams and this set is confusing. There are so many things going on. There's so many different things you can pull. It's really hard to get an idea of like what's gonna come in a box, what could be in a case. So I'm gonna explain all of that today. I'm gonna explain all the rarities, how all the rarities work. And I'm gonna show you some really cool new upcoming cards from Kaizoku Cards. So to get started, I just wanted to show some of my cards off first. This is a Dawn set that uh, I made with HZ19 and Grace. Grace did the art, HZ19 did the textures. This one's been out for a while. This is the Egghead Straw Hats. As we know, the Straw Hats are going to Egghead Island in the anime now. They've been there for a while in the manga. Here's a couple of uh, leader cards that are available. This is the Sakazuki Bounty poster. It's got the game text right here. These are set five leaders. This is the purple Luffy set five leader. And these are all available on Kaizoku cards. This is an upcoming red purple female law, which I'm pretty psyched for. And this one I'm the most excited for, a new Dawn set. I haven't made a Dawn set in a while. This is the villain's Dawn set. It has all the villain's textures in the background. This will be available soon. It's not released yet, but I will be releasing it soon. Each villain got its own texture that is themed after the villain. These look great. I'm really excited to use these. I love these chibi drawings that Grace does. They're just so insanely cute. Um, but yeah, this is an upcoming Dawn set, which will be available on Kaizoku cards. I will be doing some special holiday stuff. So tune in over there, follow the Instagram at Kaizoku cards. But enough about that. Let's explain how these boxes work. So in a case, you get 12 boxes. In those 12 boxes, there could be a potential number of things. We've learned that the cases are mapped. So when you open a case from the top down, the top six boxes are always going to be the four alternate art leader boxes and the two uh, Oda Luffy boxes. What I mean by that is each card has a potential different rarity outside of commons and uncommons. In the One Piece card game, we have a number of different rarities. There's common, uncommon, rare, super rare, secret rare. So each of the cards rare through secret rare and leaders have potential alternate arts. And an alternate art means you have the regular art here and an alternate art is a more rare, shiny version of the card. This is a leader, this is an alternate art leader. Now, four of the boxes in the top of the case are going to have uh, the alternate art leaders. And in two of those boxes, you're gonna get an SP or an, a special print. A special print is a reprint of a card from a previous set. So this is the set one alternate art Nami. There's also a regular art of this. This is the special print that you could potentially get in your case of set five. So there's gonna be two special prints in the case and two of those special prints are gonna come in boxes with alternate art leader cards. In the other two alternate art leader cards, you're gonna have two alternate art cards. Those can either be secret rares, rares, or super rares. So I'm gonna go over those now. Basically, you have rare cards that could have a potential alternate art. Here's the alternate art Zoro. So this is a different art that's a high rarity card, and there's a potential for this to be in boxes. Uh, and then we have super rares, which also have alternate art. So here's the alternate art Law that could also potentially be in a box. And then there's secret rares. There's two secret rares in the set. This is the Gear 5 Luffy. There's also a Kaido. And the Luffy has an alternate art. The Luffy also has a manga art. The manga art is, this is the rarest. There's three manga arts in the set. There's Luffy, Law, and Kid. Luffy is the rarest. I believe Law is the second rarest and Kid is the third rarest. I'm not totally sure but their ratios are somewhere between one and 10 cases. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but you're not guaranteed to get a manga art in a case. So you have the potential to get a manga art in the case. And then there's the Oda Luffy. So Oda drew a, a art of Luffy that's featured in this set. You're guaranteed to get two of these in each case. And if you're super, super, super lucky, then you will get a signed Oda, which is an Oda, uh, this is the Oda drawing with Oda's signature on it. And this, I believe, is the rarest card in the set. I'm assuming it's somewhere around one in 20 cases is the drop rate of this card. It's selling for around $2,000. I've seen them go for as much as $3,000. Some people are listing them for like $5,000. I don't think they're gonna get that. But this is the rarest card in the set. The second rarest card in the set is the Manga Luffy. 
So these cards will only be found in the bottom row of the case. What I mean by that is when you open the case, there's gonna be six boxes and six boxes. So six boxes on top, six boxes on bottom. Those six boxes on top, two of those are gonna have this regular Oda art. In those boxes, you're also gonna get a secret rare and you'll get one other alternate art, usually. On the bottom row, there's gonna be six more boxes. Each of those boxes is gonna have one secret rare, either the Luffy or the Kaido, and then it's either gonna have one or two alternate arts. If it's a box with two alternate arts, one of those alternate arts is gonna have a chance at being the signed Oda Luffy or a manga art. And that's really what you're looking for. So something that's happened in this set now that we know that the cases are mapped are people are gonna be going into these boxes, they're gonna be opening just the bottom row of the boxes and they're gonna be leaving the top row of the boxes, which means a lot of the boxes on the secondary market are not gonna have a chance at pulling a manga rare or an Oda art. So if you're looking to pick up a sealed box with a chance at pulling a manga rare or an Oda art, I would highly, highly, highly recommend not buying boxes on the secondary market. The only way you really guarantee a chance at it is buying a sealed case. Sealed cases of this set are gonna get insanely expensive because you could potentially pull these two cards. These two cards are gonna be some of the most valuable cards ever made in this game that you can pull from a box, which means this set is gonna go insane in value. So I would recommend keeping boxes sealed of this set. If you wanna have valuable stuff in the future, don't open your boxes of this set. Or if you have a case, crack the bottom row, and then buy singles and then keep your boxes sealed. And if you sell your boxes in the future, make sure you tell the people you're selling your boxes to, hey, don't open this box, keep it as a sealed product. This thing will increase in value. You're not gonna pull the manga or the Oda or whatever from this because we know it's just this. But some people just wanna open them and just get rare cards anyway. Enjoy the fun of opening the set. I'm not gonna say don't do that if you wanna do that. But right now boxes are going for like 180 bucks. Probably some are going for, they'll go up to 250 soon. I wouldn't be surprised. So keep your boxes of this sealed. If you wanna get specific cards from this set, buy singles. You can go to tcgplayer.com, that's a place to buy singles. There's Facebook marketplaces, there's uh, eBay. You know, Go to places, and if you're gonna buy individual cards, make sure to use goods and services. Don't use friends and fam with people that you don't know because you wanna make sure that you're protected in your purchases. You never know what people are gonna be sending out, if they have fakes or if they're damaged cards or they just don't send them at all. You wanna make sure that you're using some sort of system that protects you, the buyer, from getting taken advantage of. And I just wanna remind you, don't buy an open sealed box, uh, sealed box of the set. If you go on eBay and you buy a box, there's a great chance that that box is either from the top row or it's from a case where somebody already pulled the manga or it's a case where somebody already pulled the Oda art. Right? People will leave boxes of the seal. I'm doing it myself because I wanna have valuable boxes in the future, but also tell the people that I'm selling the boxes to, hey, this is a collector's item, don't open it. If you wanna buy, get specific cards, buy sealed, buy individual cards. I am also keeping sealed cases of the set because I think sealed cases of this set are gonna be insanely valuable in the future. Just the way that the sealed cases of set one are going for like $20,000 right now, I think those are just gonna continue going up. I think the One Piece card game is gonna be probably the most valuable card game ever made in the history of card games. So it's a great place to invest and keep sealed product. If you want specific cards, just buy the singles. The amount of money you're gonna spend on cases or boxes to try and pull the card that you wanna pull, it's extremely unlikely. You're better off taking your chances of buying some blister packs at Target or Barnes & Noble if you could find them actually. I've only ever found One Piece cards in the wild once. I found them at Barnes & Noble and I pulled nothing. So buy singles. That's how the cases work. That's how the ratios work. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys remember that I'm a dentist and I can't end without a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip to you would be make sure you have a good hygiene routine. It's so important to have a good sequence to take care of your teeth and you wanna do it every day. And the point of having a good hygiene routine isn't just to keep your teeth healthy. You wanna have it in a way that it makes you feel better, right? How many people poop? You, right, you sit on the toilet, and I hope you wipe your butt, because if you don't, it feels pretty gross. Like you have poop in your butt, and you're like, I don't wanna walk around with poop in my butt. Well, that's how you should feel about brushing and flossing your teeth, is when you don't brush and floss your teeth, you feel the stuff in your mouth, and you're like, ugh, I don't like the way this feels, I wanna clean it. And then you always brush and floss. You're not doing it because Joku told you to, or because your dentist said, hey, you're supposed to brush and floss. You're doing it because it actually makes you feel better 
like you don't have stuff between your teeth the same way you feel when you don't have poop in your butt after you wipe your butt. So that's my dental tooth tip. Thanks for coming by. Check out Kaizoku cards. There's some really cool heat coming up. I have so, so many cards and I have some big changes coming to the structure and types of cards I'm making. I'm really excited to show you all about them. Sank you, sank you, gozaimasu, and I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm nervous. All right, yeah, you should be. Who do you, you have to call, you have to say who it is. It's just a one person? It's either Nami, Bonnie, Who's Who, or Centamaru. But Nami and Bonnie are the best. So who's gonna, probably open this one first. That's the winner pack, that's a, that's for winning. Okay, I think this is Bonnie. All right. <laughs> who should I guess? I, you have to make it be that. You have to, to turn it into that. Bonnie. All right, that's how it works. Rip. Trip? Yeah. Wow, look at that technique. <laughs> I'm so scared. Nami. All right, that's, oh! that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Wait, all I right. wanted it to be Bonnie. That's all right. Out of, out of all the ones that it could have been, now you really have to make this what you want it to be. Like, Wait, but could it be Nami also? Could, Nami or Bonnie are good, but you have to make it that. Like, But who else could it be? Who are my options? Send tomorrow and who's who. They suck, though. No, send no it's going to be Bonnie. 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 That's the right attitude. No, you got to make it Bonnie. Just like that. Bonnie? Just like that. Nami! Ah! Wow, wait, that's fire, though. Really good.